Welcome back to another episode of Microdose with Modos Cannabis. We are back in the kitchen and we are going to be making a golden dragon tincture today. So what is a tincture? A tincture is really an alcohol based, you know, liquid and it's an infusion. So you can make a herbal infusion with your tincture, but today of course we're going to be, you know, making a cannabis infused tincture. So a golden dragon tincture is essentially a quick wash extraction, extraction technique, which means we can get this done in about 30 minutes or less. You may have also heard of the green dragon, you know, tincture. It is very potent, you know, it often steeps for, you know, you know, up to six months. Um, you're gonna get a lot more plant matter in there, but the taste is also really intense. So a lot of that chlorophyll and stuff. So if you don't like the taste of that, you might wanna give the quick wash golden dragon, um, give it a try. All right, so let's get to our tincture. <music> tinctures for just a sec. So oftentimes you might hear people refer to oils and tinctures and using them interchangeably. But to be clear, oils are always oil based. So coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, those are all oils. When we're talking about tinctures, it's always going to be alcohol based. So you need to make sure that you are using alcohol that is 150 proof or higher. Okay. If you don't have the proof of 150 or higher, you're not going to get, you know, the full extraction of your cannabis. Oftentimes people will default to Everclear, which is 190 proof, but you can really use anything as long as the proof is above 150, okay? All right, so we have our decarb cannabis and our um, alcohol, 150 proof or higher, that have been in the freezer for a day. Please remember with this recipe, you need to make sure that these are actually in the freezer for <laughs> a day um, because we're doing this quick, quick, quick extraction method. And if the cannabis isn't frozen, then the trichomes aren't as brittle and your infusion will be weaker. So just please make sure that we're doing that. The other good thing about this recipe is that you can use as much cannabis as you want. And the really the only rule of thumb here is to make sure that the alcohol that you're using covers the cannabis, that's it. So it really doesn't matter how much you use as long as it covers the cannabis. So we've got our decarb frozen cannabis or sugar leaves in this case, and I am just gonna pour in Ah, okay, I have another jar, <laughs> luckily, because this does not cover. Okay, so here we go, here's the rest. Uh, we were close, but no cigar, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some more of this alcohol. We only needed a little, and it is completely covered. I'm lucky I had this in the freezer. I was gonna make a little small Lucy batch later. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, we just need to put this lid on and we want to kind of just stir it around a little bit. You don't need to aggressively shake it. It is not necessary. It won't help anything infuse any faster or at all, okay? And we're just gonna put this back into the freezer, wait five minutes, and we're gonna do this again three or four times, and then we're going to strain it. Let's go. All right, so we're back and we've got a few gadgets here to help us get to the finish line. <clears throat> so first things first, we've taken our tincture out of the freezer. It's been in there for about 20 minutes. I checked on it about every five minutes and gave it a good swirl around. So now that this is done, it's time to strain it. So first things first, definitely wanna make sure that you have on some gloves. This stuff will absorb right into your skin rather quickly and you wanna make sure that you're keeping your THC in your actual tincture. So then we have our mason jar that we're gonna store our tincture in for now. We have a funnel just to help us get everything in there. And then you can either use cheesecloth, but in this case, I'm actually gonna use a single coffee filter to help us strain and get all that extra plant matter out of our tincture. So let me just take this lid off and it's very simple. There we go. And we're just gonna let that gradually make its way down. <clears throat> and 
I don't want to press it or anything like that. I'm just going to let it happen naturally. Some people do press, um, you know, once we get to the bottom of this to get the extra juice or whatever that's still in our cannabis leaves or our sugar leaves. Um, it's totally up to you. If you don't like the taste of chlorophyll, then you might not want to do this. However, um, you will get a little extra potency, not much. So it's, it's, it's a trade off. Um, but you know, I would do it just kind of a light squeeze when we get there. And you see how it has that nice golden color for right now. So our golden tincture light on the chlorophyll. Hold the chlorophyll, please. <laughs> it's looking damn good. We're gonna get the rest of this out of there and we're gonna give it a light press. <clears throat> Again, don't press too hard if you don't like the taste of chlorophyll. Um, doing this won't really add that much more THC to your mixture, but it's totally up to you. You can squeeze, you don't have to squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze because I don't love the taste of chlorophyll, but since this is a quick extraction, I'm just gonna get everything we can get out of there. Ah! I've got my little funnel, should I use the bigger one? All right. That's it. So our tincture looks good, but there's still some sentiment, <laughs> sediment <laughs> down here at the bottom. So I am just gonna pass it through one more time. So I'm gonna place my filter in this other jar, another single coffee filter. I'm not gonna use that other large strainer. It's pretty useless at this point. And then I'm just going to filter this through um, a second time and then we're done. All right, so we now have our final golden dragon tincture. As you can see, it's got that nice golden color. Um, what you can do now is just put the lid on, store it in a dark, cool place under a cabinet, in the refrigerator, in the freezer for up to a year. Make sure that you label the strain and when you actually made the tincture. If you wanna go ahead and start to evaporate out the alcohol from your tincture, you can easily do that by leaving it out. You can't have a, a, a lid on it yet but leaving it out and then putting a coffee filter over it and just setting it to the side and the alcohol will evaporate naturally over the next, you know, a couple of days, week or so, depending on how much liquid you, ha liquid you have. But you can check it and smell it. And um, once that's done, you can jar it up and be done with it. So this is our golden dragon tincture and I hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna have some really great recipes to come along with this coming up.